Yo, 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 it's your boy Stax. Welcome to Roaches to Wrenches. So, the BMW sold about a week ago. So, here's the story. We had a lot of things going on simultaneously, a lot of projects and things like that. We had the BMW for sale since January when we finished the project. The project, sorry. During that time, nobody has money. It was right after the holidays, Christmas, New Year, all that time. So nobody had any money. I wasn't surprised that I wasn't getting any offers or any, any interest on, on it. At that time, mind you, I was asking for four or five grand for the car. I must have overestimated the market at that time and stuff like that. It's my fault. Eventually, mind you, we have other projects taking up the driveway. We have the, we had the Honda Accord, the King Ranch F-150 that was taking up all our uh, space on the driveway. So as a result, we were parking that car at another place away from where I live. So there's this apartment building that's nearby. So whenever we didn't have enough space on the driveway, we would park our cars, any extra cars that were, you know, fully functional running and driving. We would park them over at that lot, right? At the apartment building, right? And, you know, I knew it was illegal. I'm like, whatever, you know, I'd, let's just hope nobody notices. So, yeah, I got away with it for a certain amount of time. Eventually, we had the King Ranch F-150 as well as the OG F-150, the, the 06 Lariat, taking up all the space on the driveway. So, yeah, there was nowhere else to park it, right? But at this point, we had the Honda Accord and the BMW parked at this apartment building. Usually, every couple of days or so, I would go drive down to this apartment building, you know, just to go make sure the cars are still there, everything's fine. Anyway, so of course, I show up there one day, my biggest nightmare happened. I should have known, man, you know. I know a lot of you guys think I'm an idiot, but yeah, you know, it happens, whatever. All the cars were gone, okay? So, it is what it is. So, yeah, I know I said on Snapchat and Instagram that the cars got impounded. They didn't get impounded, they just got towed. So, yeah. Went to the tow yard, had to pay $710 to get both of our cars out. Um, plus the, I had to take lift. I had to take a lift uh, ride over there to go fetch one car, come back, take another lift there, fetch the other car, come back. Talk about a real kick in the balls, just like. Uh... So I knew that once we got the cars out of the tow yard, I had nowhere to park them, right? Because I couldn't park them on the on the driveway. We have no space, and we couldn't park them back at that apartment building, or they're gonna get towed again. So, um, I'm like, I gotta sell. I gotta unload these cars. And thankfully, by this time it was March. Everybody has their tax money back, and so yeah, I'm like, I gotta unload these cars like fast. So I basically, I went on my ad where I posted the BMW for sale. Uh, basically dropped the price super hard. I had someone contact me maybe a couple minutes to an hour after that. The timing was just perfect because I basically drove it straight from the tow yard to somewhere where we can meet. We ended up selling the BMW that day for $3,000. She just came, lowballed me on the price. I'm like, whatever, I gotta get rid of this car. I got nowhere to park it. Give me the money. If y'all remember back when we were making those BMW video, I, videos, I said in the last video, I said this took us a lot of time, but it didn't take us a lot of money. That is true. We were into the car all together for $2,300. We sold the car for $3,000. So profit, $700. How much did it cost us to get the two cars out of the tow yard? $700. $10. So <laughs> at least I recouped all the money I lost. We got our money back. There's something I always tell myself. It's... I'd rather end up with nothing than less than nothing. So, you know, that's why I stay away from debt, you know, stay away from being in debt and things like that. So you always got to look at the bright side. I know some people think I'm an idiot and it is what it is. I mean, yeah, you know, like, I mean, it was kind of stupid, but it's a lesson learned. You know, I overextended myself. I tried to operate outside of my parameters and what happened, happened. So yeah, our profit on the BMW is a big fat zero. And of course, a couple days later, we sold the Honda Accord. Everything worked out great because 
the Honda Accord, I, I actually sold it. You know, we sold that car for a lot more than I expected. I wasn't expecting to get 1600 for that car. I mean, yeah, I put a lot of work into it. And of course, I, I fixed all the issues, make sure uh, the person I'm selling it to this time actually has a good car. I'm pretty much happy with the outcome of this situation. Gotten the way I'm going. I'm happy with the outcome of the situation. It is what it is. And I mean, it's like, I'm just happy we didn't lose anything. Making money is one thing, but losing money sucks. All right. So, yeah, at least we didn't lose anything. Um, <laughs> So yeah, that's the story, that's the conclusion of the BMW. As always, I'm grinding. I hope you all are doing the same. Y'all stay strong, stay healthy, and stay inspired. I'm out. Peace!